Tyler the Creator has his fair share of dark songs. The song Sarah is about kidnapping a girl, being and killing her, and he plays a disturbing clip of a woman crying on this track. Blow is essentially about the same thing, but he's high on coke during the story. And we can never forget about the infamous line, rape a pregnant bitch and tell my friends I had a threesome, off the song Tron Cat, where he talks about cannibalism and murders. He clearly has a theme for these early records, and I think it's safe to say that they're all fiction. None of them are true, especially because he brings up doing drugs and drinking a lot during these songs when at the time he claimed he didn't do any sort of drugs. I just never wanted to drink. And don't get me wrong, like I've been high twice in my life. That shit is just definitely not for me. And these songs are about going to clubs and bars and he wasn't even 21 at the time. So he was too young to even go to these places. He was clearly aiming for a niche audience, which I believe was the horrorcore kids and it worked because even during these early Tyler days he packed up venues and was living the dream making a quarter million off of socks, I make a quarter million off of socks. with his best friends at the time by his side rising up in the music industry as a unit what about a song that's a little bit too detailed to be fake a song that feels more like a coming out story or just talking about what he's struggling with Something that you most likely listen to and question the lyrics yourself, but you just ignore the words because the song is actually that good. So good and so easy to sing along to, to actually be paying attention to what you're saying. We're going to break down this message and see what he's actually saying. And we're also going to find out why people haven't questioned this song at all, even though the music video has 20 million views. The song is titled, Fucking Young. At the time of this recording, this song has 20 million views and was released in 2015. You have to keep this in mind. The song is about Tyler meeting a girl he falls in love with through mutual friends, but she's just too fucking young. It's very catchy, it's easy to sing along to, the beat is euphonious, and has beautiful backing vocals in the chorus. It's just overall really fucking good, <laughs> which I believe plays a part in ignoring the lyrics. Let's break some of these lyrics down. We met through mutual friends and this is where the story and confusion begin because I was in a problem but I had to pretend that I wasn't. Implying he had this skeleton in his closet that he was afraid to reveal. If you were attracted to a minor, I don't think that's something you go around telling people. You'd obviously be afraid of judgment and losing all your friends. So imagine just like going through this situation completely alone. There go the policeman knocking at my door. Do I leave out the back and grab my wallet and coat? Or do I answer real confused like I don't know? Now me and she held hands and we danced. Nothing more. She kissed my hands a couple times. FaceTime when we're bored. There's nobody at the door. Man, I'm so paranoid. This pre-chorus is very detailed, as if he lived through this. He hung out with his child and he was paranoid he was going to get caught. So paranoid he was thinking of various ways to exit the situation if he has to. And he established the relationship he had with this girl. They went as far as dancing and facetiming and she even kissed his hands at some point but he said nothing more. Now it's up to us if we want to take this information at face value and just believe what he says. I think it's extremely possible that nothing happened. But at the same time, if two people are attracted to each other and completely alone in the same room that's big enough to dance in, it's also possible something more went down. Whether it was just a kiss or something more, who knows? Girl, you're perfect, but you're too fucking young for me. And when temptation calls, I never pick up. And girl, you stole my heart, but you're too fucking young. This is more than a crush. I just might be in love. In the chorus, he's admitting his love for this girl. But thankfully, he's strong enough mentally to not act on these temptations. Imagine your favorite food is just sitting there on the dinner table and you want to eat it so bad but you can't because you're allergic to it. Now you can eat this food but there's going to be consequences to your actions. A six year difference is a 10 year sentence and with the pigment of my skin I don't want to be another statistic. You bring me joy and you fill a void that was once missing and I can say I'm in love. Now he says a six year difference is a 10 year sentence. Remember, this song came out in 2015. 
Tyler was 24 at the time of this song's release, and he said there's a six year difference which would make the girl 18, which is legal, so it wouldn't make sense that there would be a 10 year sentence for this. Now obviously the song was written way before the release. Tyler releases an album every two years, so it's safe to assume this happened around the age of 21 or 22, which would make the girl 15 or 16 at the time. In this verse, he's also stating his fear of getting shot by a pig. I, I, I mean cop, I mean cop, 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 if he gets caught. And he also addresses how much he loves this girl. When that time comes for that 1-8, I'll probably run. I'm not too sure what he means by that, but this is basically a confirmation that she was under 18. Because I'm fucking terrified, yo, this is dumb. Because if they see you with T, they'll think T needs some help. This is a confirmation that this song is about him. T, not some made up story or a song about someone else. And he's also addressing more paranoia and his worry of other people finding out about this relationship. To be clear, relationships don't have to be romantic. So when you mention hang, I'm thinking about a tree and a bell. I'm still fucking off, not good at ducking off because I found a goose that I like, but I'm still running off. She's gonna want a nest, that's why I cannot get fucking caught. That's a scary word. You could save that shit for the birds. He mentions hanging himself when she says she wants to hang out because he just can't stand what he's going through. She's hitting him up and he just has to push aside all the temptations. He mentions he's good at fucking off, but not good at ducking off. I take this as he's good at going away and like leaving her alone, but not good at dodging her when he needs to. He also mentions that caught is a scary word because he knows the consequences if he does get caught. Funny thing about this, by the time you hear this, I'll be in the clear. I see this as the nail in the coffin, a second confirmation that she was clearly under 18 while writing the song. And it makes sense, she'll be 18 when it comes out because again, if there's a six year difference, he was 24 when the song came out, which made her 18. Now, I believe this last verse is supposed to be like her words. Boy, I know that we could be more than just friends, but you're scared. I know that there could be something for you and me. What's your philosophy? And I exit and wait a while. Just say the word. This world is just a struggle just to be. Fuck them all, baby. It's just you and me. She mentions waiting a while. She's just like implying whatever he's ready to hit her up. And it looks like she's just letting him know like everything's fine. Age is just a number. Now that was all the important bits of the song. There's obviously way more lyrics. You can go look them up yourself if you're interested. So I did a little research to see if critics or Tyler mentioned anything about the song's lyrics. I only found Anthony Fantano vaguely mention it. He's talking specifically about age as a number and how that may factor in him going to jail. It's just more of a, I would like to stay out of trouble, please. It's a song of temptation. It simultaneously pushes this girl away, but also just flirts with the idea of being with her anyway. There is a rap verse in the middle of this song. It does bring more context to the situation. For one, the age difference going on here. Tyler saying that I'm gonna be 27, you're gonna be 21. We're essentially just talking about six years here, which isn't really the end of the world or anything like that. There are larger age gaps in fully functioning relationships. And if this song has been written in the now, the girl he's talking about is about 18, and uh, why would a legal issue even come into play here? Unless the song, or at least the song idea, is much older than what we're hearing right here. Or maybe Tyler's just not trying to self snitch, I don't know. And according to Rap Genius, Tyler actually said something about this song. I wanted to make a song like Stevie Wonder's Inner Visions album. You listen to shit in the 70s, they got to the point. Although it sounds soft, fucking young is perverted and weird, but it's true. There was this girl that I liked and we both had feelings for each other, but there was a five year difference between us and it weirded me out. So I wrote a song about it. And Genius also mentions he was 24 at this time. Now we can believe Tyler's words and just take whatever he throws at us, but at the same time, it's hard to not question it. If it was only a five year difference, why did he say six in the song? And why would he be so paranoid? It doesn't really add up. And we can also debunk that he was 24 while writing the song. Being that the song came out on April 9th, 2015, while he was 24, but his birthday is March 6th, a month before. Listen, this song is really good. The quality is crazy. The music video is insane. There is no possible way that he wrote the song, got it mixed, mastered, produced, made a music video all in one month. I'm sure that it's doable, but the quality put into this content, it's extremely unlikely. The comment section of the music video was full of people acknowledging the message and people memeing on it and trying to defend Tyler. Now, I'm not here to make you think Tyler is a 
file. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just here to break down the song for you and let you know this shit is dark, dude. This is insane. He fell in love with someone, someone that he should have stood away from, but got too deep in this hole. He was in this hole completely alone because if he mentioned this to anyone, he was afraid people would send them to some sort of therapy, try to get him arrested, fuck up his reputation, maybe lose all his friends because they'd probably think he's a creep. There's way too many reasons why not to tell people. There was a TED talk about this lady talking about how pedophiles are sick and afraid to come out and get help because of these exact reasons. There's an entire community of that don't act on their temptations called the map community. These people get an insane amount of death threats because of their coming out. And no, like, not a lot of these people, damn near none of them are public figures. Now imagine being in Tyler's shoes. He's feeding people, creating entertainment, and making positive impacts on people's lives. He had a lot to lose if he were to ever mention this. And with all this pressure in his head, he went through something really dark. Again, he even mentions in the song that he wanted to hang himself. This song could be a cry for help. It could be a fabricated story. It could be him trying to get something off of his chest, but no one will ever know what truly went down but Tyler and this girl. I normally do gaming content, but if you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Fuck it, why not? This TikTok kid is doing something terrible. Go click it to find out why.